Hey fam, it's your boy Pop Pop. So I spent last night trying to take the next breath. So if I look a little haggard this morning, I wasn't able to stay in the wheelchair very long. I'm back in bed trying to get the circulation going. But uh, I saw I saw this man talking about a very old axiom. He said, <clears throat> he said, hard times produce strong men. Strong men produce productive times. Productive times produce easy times. Easy times produce weak men. Weak men like we have now in our government produce hard times. It's a cycle that goes around. And I was watching this, this kid, I'm assuming at one time it was a girl. It looked like it started out as a young girl. And now you can't tell what it is. But in any case, it was laying down the law about uh, I will be called Zay and Zem and Zed and Zebedee and all of this other stuff. And if you call me, if you call me he or she or something conventional, you're going to be in a lot of trouble. You're going to be in a lot of trouble because I'm entitled. I'm entitled to be called Zay and Zem and Zed and all of this other crap. So, I was just shaking my head because this generation has no concept of what's coming down the pike when Zay goes to uh, open up the refrigerator one day and there's no food in the refrigerator and there's no gas to go to a job and there's no job because they went to the job and they laid down the law to all of the people at the job about their personal pronoun and the people on the job had better use their personal pronoun and check at various times of the day to make sure that they still feel like a girl or a boy or a fish or a cat or whatever they decide to be at the moment. You know. So, I mean, you have schools now. You have schools now that are putting litter boxes in classrooms because some of the kids identify as a cat. You know, so they make the demand there's got to be litter boxes in the classroom and all this ridiculousness. America used to have the best education system in the world. And now we're a laughing stock. Our government's a laughing stock. You have the person who's in charge of our, of our uh, radiological power. I don't want to use the wrong word and get banned. But uh, the person is non-binary and a luggage thief and comes to work with clown makeup and a, a big circle of lipstick on their mouth and clown makeup and all this other stuff. In my day, we used to call that being mentally ill. And you didn't put that person in charge of a radiological stockpile, you know. But now, now they're like, well, if you identify as a zebra in a dress and you're non-binary and, and all of this other stuff, we need to hire you. It's not a matter of that you're qualified or anything. And then we wonder why everything has turned to crap. So, 
I'm going to tell you, fam, I, as, as someone who's uh, the better part of a century old, I can see the train wreck coming. So you better hold on to your seats because 2023 ain't going to be pretty.